You have reached an agreement today to sell ARM to SoftBank in an all-cash deal that values the company at £24.3 billion. Why have you agreed to this? ARM's an amazing business, and I'm incredibly proud of everything we've achieved in the last 25 years. I've been with the company since the start and seen it grow, uh, and I'm, I'm blown away by what we've achieved. And I think we've got a really exciting future ahead of us. Now, we weren't out looking to sell the company because we believe our standalone prospects were really, really compelling. So when SoftBank approached us um, with what was a, a really interesting and intriguing proposition, it was something that we had to look at because of our respect for SoftBank. Now, anyone looking to acquire ARM really does have to satisfy two criteria. They have to provide a price that's going to be attractive and compelling for our shareholders, and they have to offer a future that is more exciting than we could achieve on our own. And the SoftBank offer, in totality, achieves those objectives. At 17 pounds a share, we believe, the board believes, that this really fairly values the company and that our shareholders uh, will find this uh, a, a valuable offer. And in terms of the future, Arm and SoftBank share a vision of the way technology is going to change people's lives, the way technology is going to enable communication uh, and collaboration around the world. And with SoftBank's backing, uh, with the level of investment uh, that they can make into this business, we believe we'll be able to achieve more than we could standing on our own. And so together, this deal is a very, very uh, interesting and fascinating offer to enable the next chapter of growth for ARM. Apart from the price they have offered, what attracts you to this deal? So what attracted us to working with SoftBank was a shared vision of the future and the level of investment that that would take. So they're about investment in building the ecosystem, both locally and globally. In terms of our people, we're going to be expanding our business. We're going to increase uh, our headcount globally, and specifically here in the UK, where our headquarters will remain. We're going to double the headcount over the next five years. We think all of these make this a really interesting and exciting proposition for the future. How does this agreement allow you to accelerate your growth strategy and extend your leadership? Well, when I think about the um, investment and the commitment that's going to be required uh, to develop the future technologies that we're talking about, things like the Internet of Things, things like fully autonomous cars, these are technologies that will require long-term investment. They're not uh, iterative on what we have today. Uh, they're going to require invention. They're going to require development. They're going to require uh, the bringing together of, of different partners in a very diverse ecosystem. That is a non-trivial exercise. It's one that will take time and it's one that will take investment. And in SoftBank, they share our view on where this technology can go, um, and they share our view on how long this will take and the level of investment that will be required. And so I think together, we will deliver more. Will there be any change in strategy? In terms of our day-to-day -day business, in terms of uh, serving our customer base, it really is business as usual. Uh, one of the things that's uh, compelling about uh, SoftBank as a parent for ARM is that there is no conflict, there is no overlap between what we do, uh, developing and licensing technology to semiconductor companies uh, and SoftBank's core businesses. Um, and so the strategy remains unchanged. We will look to develop uh, the building blocks that will enable future technologies delivered through innovative silicon designs. So the strategy remains absolutely the same. What we'll do though is do more and we'll do it faster and we'll do it with a greater degree of investment. Who is likely to run the business from here? Uh, the management of ARM will remain unchanged. I will remain the CEO, my management team will remain in place, and we will continue our business day to day, uh, working closely with our customers, uh, engaging our employees as we go and execute on this mission. Uh, the business day to day will remain unchanged in its management. Is this really a good deal for the UK? Absolutely. This is a great deal for the UK and a great uh, positive affirmation in what the UK can do uh, in, the, in the world stage of technology. Uh, we have over 1,600 employees in the UK, and over the next five years, that's going to double. I think that's a great deal. What does this mean for ARM's culture and model? Where do you see it going from here? Do you foresee any changes? ARM's culture within the company is very, very strong. It's all about uh, working together. Uh, it's about partnership. It's about uh, creating the best technology and innovating. None of that is going to change. Crucial to the way that we've grown the business over the last 25 years is partnership. It's not just working inside ARM, it's working with the licensees of our technology. It's working with an incredibly broad ecosystem to bring the technology to market in the most efficient way. None of that is going to change. 
SoftBank also have a view on ecosystems and the value of ecosystems. And so there is a great alignment between the way we work uh, and the way they think about the world. So nothing will change in our culture, nothing will change in our business model. Do you expect any other bids in light of today's announcement? Well, it's impossible to predict what somebody else may do. Uh, but when I think about this deal, I think in totality, it's a great deal for ARM, it's a great deal for ARM shareholders. Uh, at 17 pounds a share, you know, we believe that that is an offer that the board uh, has to recommend uh, to our shareholders. Uh, and for our employees, our business, our business partners, our ecosystem, the way in which we can continue to grow the business in the future in partnership with SoftBank, uh, we think will create an even bigger opportunity for everybody involved in future. So why now? Do you think the business is running out of steam? Absolutely not. Over the last 25 years, uh, ARM technology has found its way into roughly 90 billion chips. We're in virtually every smartphone on the planet, we're in TVs, we're in cars, we're in DVD players, we're in refrigerators, we're in remote controls for TVs. ARM technology is used in an incredibly broad and diverse way. Now 90 billion chips may sound like a lot, but actually I think we're just scratching the surface. When I think about the way that embedded intelligence will change the future and change our future lives, there's a phenomenal opportunity. We will see industries such as healthcare, agriculture, transportation revolutionized by the embedding of energy efficient chips into a networked infrastructure. And that and the value that can be created is something that excites us. It's something that makes uh, ARM employees come to work every day thinking about this future. Now delivering on it is going to take a long time. This is not tomorrow. This is something that could take decades. It could take billions of dollars of investment. And that is something that as a standalone business, we are absolutely uh, up for doing. But with SoftBank's backing, uh, we believe that that future can be delivered sooner. We share this vision of the future and I think together we will deliver it.